What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write a quadratic function in vertex form. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just make sure your function is in standard form, which just means it's in this form right here. ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are just numbers. They're just coefficients. Okay, so you can see that we already have it in that form right here, right? x squared minus 12x plus 18. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is just complete the square. Now, what the hell does that mean? So that just means we want to add this little formula, b over 2 in parentheses squared. We want to evaluate this and then plug it in to both sides of our equation over here. Okay, so in this case, what is this b equal to? Well, this would be this number right here, so it would be negative 12, right? So we're going to plug in a negative 12 for b right here. So we're going to get negative 12 over 2 squared. Negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6, so we get negative 6 squared, which is equal to positive 36, all right? So we're going to add this number, positive 36, to both sides of our equation. So we're going to get, on this side, f of x plus 36, and then that's equal to this side over here, right? x squared minus 12x plus 18 plus 36. Now the thing here is, this 36, you don't want to tack it on to the very end. What you want to do is actually put this next to whatever number is right here in the middle next to the single variable, the x. Okay, so I'm going to take out this 18 right here. So we're going to put the 36 there instead. So we're going to put plus 36, and then we're going to put plus 18 at the very end. Now, why do I want to do that? Why so specific? So the reason for that is because now we created something called a perfect square trinomial. And the nice thing about this is that we can condense it. So x squared minus 12x plus 36, right? We can condense this down into just a binomial that's squared. Okay, so what goes in here? Well, first of all, whatever variable we're using here goes right here. So there, we're using x's, right? So we'll put an x. And then what goes here? Well, you just take whatever number's here in the middle. So a negative 12, same number that's up here, right? Negative 12. So we'll take that negative 12 and just divide it by 2. Negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. Okay, so we get a minus 6 right here. So we're going to plug in minus 6 right there. Okay, and uh, let me clean this up. Okay, so now if I bring everything down, let's bring this side down. So we get uh, f of x plus 36 is equal to this binomial squared now, right, which was this up here in parentheses. We just condensed it down to this. And then we still have this plus 18 at the very end. Okay, lastly, let's get rid of this 36 from this side. So we'll subtract 36 from this side and subtract 36 from this side. So then finally we can get our function by itself, right? We'll get that f of x is equal to uh, this right here. So x minus 6 in parentheses squared and 18 minus 36 is negative 18 or minus 18. Okay, and now you can see that our function is finally in vertex form. So if you don't remember, vertex form is this right here. It would be f of x is equal to in parentheses x minus h squared plus or minus k, where h and k are your x and y coordinates of your vertex. Okay, so if this is our final function right here, right, this is our answer in vertex form, where would the vertex be for this function? Well, it would be this is our x coordinate and this is our y coordinate, right? The only thing is you want to take the opposite sign for your x coordinate. So since here it's a negative 6, you want to use a positive 6 for your x coordinate and then your y always stays the same here it's a negative 18 so we would keep it at negative or as negative 18 right so the vertex for this function is at 6 negative 18. so if you found the video helpful definitely leave a thumbs up down below and if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples just let me know in the comment section below